I want to make this video pretty quick. No script. Don't care about that stuff. Let's go. So a lot of my guys are really into fitness. I have a lot of friends that are into fitness. My best friends just getting into fitness. Hey, I know you'd be watching this video, boy. Man's is like going crazy. And so, and so I wanted to kind of make this video for him and just for the people who watch me of how I do fitness and what I've learned in fitness myself. So basically, I'm going to make this simple. Focus on getting up to 15 reps, but start with a weight that you can barely get 10 reps on. So for me, that's like, I just upped my weight to 35 pounds for curls, for bicep curls. Bro, I can barely get 10 sometimes. Like Sometimes I can't even finish the set because I legit hit failure. Towards the end of my set, I'm le legit having to use some momentum just to get the weight up, which is beneficial as well. Like it's perfectly fine to use some momentum. It's better to finish the set, you know? <clears throat> and I think too many old heads be saying that like, oh, you should never use momentum and stuff like, you can use a little momentum and finish the set. You get something that you can barely get 10 reps on and work your way up until you can easily get, or just not necessarily easily, just get 15 reps on. And that could take a long time, especially once you get into heavier weights. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Just stay on the same weight until you can get to 15 reps. And then you can go back down to a weight. Once you hit 15, go back down to a weight that you can barely get 10 on. Okay, so that's progressive overload. The other thing is you don't need rest days. I don't do rest days. I made a video on this. Don't do rest days. Why? Because you don't need them, especially as a teen. Now, once you get older, yeah, sure, take maybe maybe take a couple rest days, but I don't think you should ever miss the gym. If you don't want to do weightlifting, if you don't want to lift weights, do cardio. Some people be skipping cardio. Don't skip cardio. Just get in the gym. Like Jay Waller, he'll be getting to the gym, and he'll just play around on his phone sometimes. And then he accidentally gets a pump, and then it's on. He just has a workout. It's better just to be in the gym every single day and have that consistency that of going to the gym every single day than kind of having a rest day. Because sometimes I'd be having a rest day or do a rest day. And it, like, gets me off my mojo. Like, it gets me off of my rhythm. Like, I'd much rather just know every single day I have to work out today. So the, when you have rest days, it's like, I don't know, bro. It's the same thing with like weekends. Like I think weekends are kind of made up by society. Like I don't not work on weekends. I work every single day. Every single day is a new day to put in work. I don't have weekends and I don't ever really plan on having weekends to be completely honest. Like I, I definitely plan on having vacations and days where I don't do work, but weekends are, they just like, it's a weak thing to do. You know, when you have a planned rest day and I think you should only rest when your body tells you that it needs rest and you'll know when you need rest. So don't do rest days. I don't do them. You'll be fine, bro. Okay? You'll be fine. Another thing that I do is I don't really overthink my workouts anymore. Like, I don't go into the gym with, like, a specific thing. Like, I just kind of know. Like, when I get in the gym, I'm like, okay, I haven't done a push day in a while. Do a push day. I go in the gym. I'm like, well, you know, I haven't worked back of biceps in a while. I'll do back of biceps. Today, I just did arms. Like, I don't have a specific routine or split that I have to do. Because to me, that makes the gym kind of boring. Like when you go to the gym every single day, like I do, and you're on a push-pull leg split, let's say, every week, it's the same thing over and over again. Monday, push day. Tuesday, pull day. Leg day, Wednesday. You know, something like that. Might have kind of butchered that. It's boring. I want to go into the gym and say, I feel like working chest today. I'll do chest, tricep, shoulders. I feel like doing back of biceps today. Do that. You know, I I did strength conditioning the other day. I worked everything. I'll just do arms today. I have pretty genetically blessed legs. I don't have to work out legs all the time. I just, I'm just like that. Do I want to start doing more leg days? Yes, because I want to get big legs. But I don't have to possibly work legs as much as someone else would do. And so what I want to get out of this is like, just be fluid. Be easy going when it comes to the gym don't overthink the gym like if you're like me and you already know that you're going to be working out for your entire lifetime it's like do i really want to just be doing push pull legs over and over and over and over again i don't think so i want to go to the gym have a good time blast some good music vibe out dance around like legit i just have a good time in the gym like i i i, I put on my music bro 
the gym. I'm dancing in the gym and just having a good time. So yeah, bro. Don't overthink the gym and like do a split. I think splits can kind of take the fun out of the gym. At least that's what I've noticed. Uh, another thing is just like don't overthink calisthenics or weightlifting. Just pick one and kind of do it. Personally, I think weightlifting's better. You can more easily progressively overload than on calisthenics. Some guys look absolutely great on calisthenics and they're very aesthetic. I think it's just easier to do weights than doing calisthenics. Another thing is play sports. Play sports. Like I know a lot of guys like, okay, sports will kind of hinder the gains a little bit. Like all the cardio. So I play basketball, tennis. I, I basketball is my main sport. I'm always like kind of working on basketball. I'm always kind of doing sports related stuff and a lot of cardio. And so for me to put on a ton of muscle mass, it's going to be pretty hard. I'm already, I think, have a fast metabolism. Decently tall. 5'11", boys. I hope I'll be hitting 6 foot. 5'11", it's, it's a sad height to be at, bro. <laughs> and then it's like, I have to eat like a pig to put on weight. And I have upped my eating, and I think I've gained a little bit of weight. But it's like, I'm not going to be as big as I can be because I'm burning all these calories. And so, yes, cardio to an extent and playing sports will hinder the gains a little bit. But just wor working out for sports and having a motivation to actually get in the gym can help a lot, especially like when you're just starting out in the gym. And it helped me out a lot. Like I wouldn't have been in the gym as early as I was at around 14 if it wasn't, if it wasn't for sports. I'm 16 now. So I started kind of I started getting into the gym around 14. I didn't really start getting consistent with it until around 15. Just a little heads up. So I've been in the gym for around consistently for around a year and a half now ish something like that um so yeah play sports if you want to but don't don't overthink it like sports is so much fun and they they've taught me a lot and so don't trade the experience of playing sports for some gains you know you'll always be able to make those gains eventually don't try to lift too heavy and always warm up that's something that i've been doing for a while now is always warm up so like my weights are getting pretty up there i'm benching pretty heavy like i'm benching these are for reps so it's not my one rep max but i'm doing 45 pounds for around 10 12 reps sometimes i can get more um for like three sets so that's decently heavy and so i always warm up like i don't get into the gym grab 45 pounds and start pushing it you know what i'm saying that's how you rip it. That's how you rip your chest. That's how your chest just go bah, and you're just like it, it's gone. Your chest is gone. <laughs> so so always warm up. Okay, I have been lucky to not get any bad injuries in the gym. I've never torn a muscle. I've never done anything extreme. Yes, I've kind of tweaked some stuff here and there, but that could have been from sports. I don't really know, like in those certain scenarios. But I've never been severely injured in the gym ever. You know, and I warm up so you can contribute that to that if you want to say that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Is don't listen to everybody's advice. Like, everybody be trying to tell you fitness advice on YouTube, and everybody has different opinions. Pick someone that you respect and that you can feel like you can trust and just follow their advice. Like, if they're jacked, follow their advice. Some suggestions Alex Eubank, he's pretty, res he's pretty respectable. Um, he's helped me a good bit. Uh, there's just like some other YouTubers that randomly give fitness advice here and there, but they might not be fitness influencers. And you probably know, like you, you know, okay. You know who does it, but everybody, you know, there'd be beefing on the internet about what's the best thing to do on fitness. Pick the person who you respect the most and just like life, like look at their life and say, do you want to be like them? If you do. Follow their advice, you know, and just totally ignore what everybody else says. You have to follow one course because if you just scroll through YouTube and listen to everybody's advice, you're never going to make any progress because you'll be bouncing from here to here and then here. Do I dirty bulk? Do I lean bulk? Do I do cardio? Do I not do cardio? And then it's just, it blows your mind and hurts your mental health. And it's just like, it's not worth it. Just pick someone's advice, follow theirs and ignore everybody else's. Genetics. So I have a friend, kind of who I'm making this video for. I see you. He has better abs next to me. And he's just getting into lifting. 
Okay. Okay. For a while, I was very self-conscious and really kind of uptight about how my physique looked. Like, bro, this rib pokes out more than the other. And like, oh, my abs aren't genetically symmetrical. <gasps> my chest, it's got, it's like, it's not connected completely here. I'm like, <gasps> but I'm still alive. My physique still looks better than most 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds. Gosh, I can't even remember how old I am. Like, I still look good. Genetics are never perfect. Like, nobody's genetics are perfect. Nobody is sculpted to perfection. And even David Laid, even Alex Eubank, these guys that, like, so many young fitness dudes look up to, it's like, they're not perfect. And they're not even that happy with their physique. I watched a David Laid podcast on the Chris Williamson show, or whatever it's called, Modern Wisdom, Modern Wisdom, that's what it's called. He had a podcast with David Lade. Such a good podcast. And it was just David Lade talking. Like, he's not that happy with physique. And his physique doesn't bring him that much happiness. Like, of course, that's his main source of income. And he really wouldn't be known or be anything. It sounds horrible to say that. But he re really wouldn't be widely known on the internet if it wasn't for his Greek God-looking physique. But he's not even that happy with it. And that just goes to show, like, you can have beautiful genetics, and that doesn't matter. Everybody's going to have, you know, body dysmorphia type stuff. You know, nobody's going to be happy. That's like, you know, even, like, the most handsome, most beautiful people on earth, you know, beautiful people, you know, like, literally, like, you look at him, you're like, dang, bro, this man don't even have to try to look good. He just naturally look good. He don't think that. He'd be looking at some thing on his ear that you would never notice. But he's like super self-conscious about it. You know what I'm saying? Like they'd be looking at their nose and they get plastic surgery and stuff. That's like Michael Jackson, bro. Michael Jackson. But he looked good before. And then man's... Yeah, we, we all know what he did. <laughs> but yeah, bro. Like don't overthink genetics. Look at... You have to deal with the car that you're dealt. And it's way better just to embrace that than to like neurotically overthink about it and obviously like me probably telling you this is probably not going to cure that for you it's probably not going to make you stop overthinking about it i know everybody told me to stop overthinking about it and that didn't help me the only thing that's going to help you bro is time it's time eventually you will just get tired of being like bro why am i so mad at myself all the time for something i can't change and you'll just get so fed up with it and you just kind of like slap yourself and end up forgetting about it in the long term and believe me bro starting out whoo I had some down bad moments where I look at my physique and literally just start get depressed, bro. I wouldn't even like look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> That's another story for another time. But yeah, bro, don't overthink genetics. Biggest one I could tell you here, probably. That's kind of just like some random fitness advice. If you want more in-depth advice like that I could give you, sure, bro, I'll give it to you. I don't think like I'm a genius in the gym or anything. I'm just kind of winging it. Like, obviously, I have some advice that I could teach you. But I just have a good time in the gym. I go in the gym, jam to some sick beats and make gains and look pretty good. So, and if you have a long-term mindset when you're always going to be in the gym and you plan to be in the gym for the rest of your life, you really just talk over thinking the gym and just go in and have a good time. So yeah, bro. My name is Charlie. I'm a homeschooled athlete and entrepreneur on self-improvement. Much love to you, bro. Keep improving your life. Never stop. You have a good night.